Hello, it's Tom with Digital Foundry, with a quick rundown of PC performance with No Man's Sky. So to start, let's go with the successors to the GTX 970 and R9 390, the GTX 1060 on left and RX 480 on right. Both cars are updated to their latest drivers as of publishing this video. Also, we're using the latest experimental build for No Man's Sky, where the patch list brings a number of tweaks to the game. So with all that in mind, the performance stats mostly speak for themselves here. Both cards are running at a 1080p resolution with FXAA and maximum settings across the board. And well, the GTX 1060 has a very clear lead in this case, around a 20 frames per second advantage compared to the RX 480. Even stress testing it by flying over terrain shows that same divide between the cards. But crucially, it's the GTX 1060 that runs at 60fps and above, and it's very rare to see it drop below that line. Meanwhile, the RX 480, well, that spends a lot of this test close to that, but once you start flying, it dips to around 45 FPS. In terms of averages, this means the GTX 1060 rounds out at 75 FPS overall, with a mixture of walking and intensive flying thrown into the mix. That compares to a 55 FPS average on the RX 480, and ultimately, max settings at 60 FPS is off the table for this card for now. It's worth noting there is a difference in RAM between the two as well, where the RX 480 model in this case is the 8GB version, next to the 6GB on the GTX 1060. But memory really isn't an issue on either side in this game. Instead, we suspect the main cause of this performance gap is No Man's Sky use of OpenGL, an API that's not always been a strong suit for AMD cards. So let's now move on to a more budget oriented setup. And this time we have two cheaper cards, the GTX 950 with 2GB of RAM on left and the RX 460 with 4GB of RAM on the right. Now the target here is now medium settings while playing at 1080p and the results are still not quite hitting 60fps on either side. Again, the Nvidia GPU takes a pretty convincing lead by up to 10 FPS, but really a capped 30 FPS experience would be a more comfortable target on both. Even the i3 processor holds up fairly well while generally walking around, and its four threads run at around 50% capacity. But of course, all that changes when we take to the skies. Once we're boosting around at speed and forcing the game to procedurally generate lots of terrain, all CPU threads suddenly hit 100% usage. In terms of how that translates to performance, both cards struggle to keep up, but especially the AMD card. The GTX 950, for example, still stays above the 30fps line, which is fine if you have a half refresh cap in mind, but the RX 460 is prone to some drops even below that. It just means more compromise on that card, a drop to low settings which means more terrain pop-in and lower grade shadows. Anyway, that's a quick look at No Man's Sky's performance. We have seen a lot of bug fixes to the game already, even within the first week, so we'll let you know if there are any drastic changes. But for now, give us a like or subscribe if you found this useful, and until next time, thanks for watching.